Okay, so um, in this video, I'd like to go through an example of a related rates problem. Um, and so, you know, looking at the trend in the AP exam, um, you know, they've really sort of um, simplified uh, and, and tried to, I guess, streamline the related rates questions and, 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 and make sure that they're not really testing, do you know a geometric formula, but are you truly knowing how to do a related rates question. So this one involves volume of a cone. My guess is they would give you that uh, formula. Um, you know, in class, maybe we we expected you to know it and memorize it, but I've, I've noticed uh, a trend on the AP exam that they, 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 they tried almost always to give you that formula. So um, whether it's a cone or a sphere or, or whatever kind of shape. So, um, so I kind of want to look at this. So volume of a cone or if it was surface area, they give that to you too. So volume of a cone is one third pi r squared h. Okay, so you're kind of setting that up. Okay, so so I uh, definitely didn't draw this one to scale, right? The radius is 14 uh, and the height is three. It's being filled with water. And the fact that it's being filled with water, take a look at that measurement, cubic centimeters per second. That means my change in volume, that's a dv dt, is equal to a positive, because it's being filled, a positive two. Um, and so that might come into play here uh, as we start looking. Um, find the rate of change in the exposed surface area of the water when the top uh, at the top uh, when r is five. So um, surface area is going to be um, of that exposed, uh, I guess, circular region is, is a circle, right? So um, I know area of a circle is pi r squared, and then then the derivative of area with respect to time would be two pi r times dr dt. But the thing is, I need to pick up dr dt. If I'm trying to find uh, da dt, it's based on dr dt. dr dt somehow is related to this dv dt, which is ultimately related to that volume right there. So, so we're gonna have to do the derivative of volume with respect to time. Now, volume has a radius and a height. So I'm either using product rule or I'm subbing in r for h, h for r, so I can avoid that. Um, and, and not only avoid that, but sometimes it's out of necessity because right now all I know, um, is that the, what the rate, the volume is changing. I have no idea what the height is changing and I'm trying to find the rate of the radius is changing. So, um, I'm going to solve height. I'm going to try to solve for height in terms of the radius. And the thing is, is that as you look at the water filling in this cone, um, it's always filling, uh, creating a similar triangle. So, the ratio of that radius to this height will always be equal to the ratio of that radius to that height to the overall radius to the overall height. So every um, radius to height or height to radius uh, will always equal um, 3 to 14, right? Because the radius was 14 and the height was 3. So 14 H's will equal 3 radius, 3 radii. And let's solve for H. So every H is equal to three fourteenths a radius. So that's what I'm going to put in here and sub that in uh, three fourteenths R before I even take a derivative. So um, volume is equal to one third pi R squared and our height, which is three fourteenths R. So when I multiply, well, the one third and the three would cancel. So I just get pi over 14 um, and then r cubed. So there's the volume of this particular cone with that ratio of, of radius to height um, is r cubed and then the pi time, pi over 14. So now when I do the derivative with respect to time, so dv dt, I'm going to get 3 pi over 14 r squared times dr dt the rate the radius is changing. That's what I'm going to need to solve for because I already know dv dt is 2. So um, I know that 2 could fit here. And the snapshot of when this is happening is when the radius is 5. So I know that that value is a 25. So let's solve this for um, dr dt. So uh, I've got 75 pi over 14. So 2 is equal to 75 pi divided by 14 dr dt. So divide that 14 over 75 pi on the other side, and it becomes 28 over 75 pi is equal to dr dt. 
So I'm going to now take this rate that I found and go back and remember I had that circle equation, area of the surface area, uh, area the area of the exposed surface, which would be a, a circle, so that's pi r squared. So its rate, dA dt, is equal to 2 pi r dr dt. And I just found dr dt. So the instant the radius is 5, one more time to put that 5 there, I get 28 pi, sorry, 28 over 75 pi. And I know the pi will cancel. I know that this uh, 5 goes into 75 15 times. So I'm going to get um, 2 times 28, which is 56. The pi's are gone. And then I have a 15, um, yeah, 15 down below. So this is the rate that the area is changing. So um, it's going to be represented by, um, uh, is it centimeters, I think? Yeah, centimeters squared per second.